We're in Windows 10 in Control Panel, and I'm going to show you how to use the Action Center icon. So we click on Action Center, and it allows us to set up our security and some other things. And one of the first things we do is click on Security, and we can see what's turned on and turned off. So by default, we see that the Windows Firewall is turned on and we see that the windows update is also turned on automatically install updates before you had to, to manually tell it to do that now it's set to automatic automatically update uh, windows defender is the new antivirus program uh, before it was just an uh, anti-spyware now uh, security essentials is turned into windows defender as well so we see that it is uh, updated and ready to run we have internet security settings. All internet security settings are set to the recommended levels. You can uh, go ahead and change that if you want, but you would do it in uh, Internet Explorer. User account control, you can change that just by clicking change settings, and you can see it's by default set to don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings, uh, but notify me only when apps are trying to make ch uh, changes to my computer. So that hopefully will keep you from getting some viruses. Uh, Windows Smart Screen is something that is used to uh, keep you from accidentally getting viruses by downloading things from the internet or from any kind of external drive. So it does prompt you before installing or downloading anything that way. All right, so we have uh, maintenance. So we can check for solutions to problems reports. That's turned on. If you want, you can click on check for solutions and it will look for any kind of a problem and then it will give you a suggestion on how to resolve it and you can click on troubleshooting or recovery to go through those steps file history you can turn uh, file history right now is turned off if you want you can turn that on that will show you the files that were used recently and you would you can uh, click on select a network location if you want no usable drive was found so we don't have that set up at this time all right let's go back into action center and back to maintenance and we see drive status so all drives are working properly if they weren't it would tell you at this point and uh, device software if there are any problems it would tell you that as well so let's click on the change the smart screen settings and see what our other options are and you can uh, warn before running an unrecognized app but don't require administrative approval or don't do anything turn off smart screen so that would probably be the worst thing it could do but a lot of people might find that this is a little bit less intrusive if you choose the middle all right now if you want to change the user account control settings so you never get prompted you can scroll down to the bottom but when you do uh, you will have to click yes, of course, and now anytime that you want to uh, make a change, it will no longer prompt you for administrative approval. So that's a smart screen, I'm sorry, the Action Center uh, application in Control Panel in Windows 10.